Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, that is bright. We are awake, and I'm heading out. Oh, I'm gonna take some coffee. Hang on a second. Okay, I am heading out to check the chill cramas first back in the backyard. I want to see what's going on back there, and then. I'm going to be getting things ready to go fishing today. Uh, we've got a couple local lakes that I hear the crappie are starting to kick in. So, oh, and I want to be part of that. So that's what my plan is, is to get everything ready, get ready to go crappie fishing. And I'm going to set up for that. So I'm going to go check out these trail cams, like I said, and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, looks like I've got some footage on these cameras. I've got them picked up. I'm going to take them back to the house and actually kind of filter through them. And if, I, if I've got anything on there, then I'll show them to you here in just a second. But I don't know yet. So I'm going to run these back up to the house. I'm getting way too old for these hills and such. So um, anyway, I will be back with you in just a little bit. And then we're going to start getting ready to go fishing. I'll see you then. Hey guys welcome back so we are driving around we're trying to find a place to fish at our local lake and this has been nuts we have been looking forever for a place they've closed off a lot of the parks due to you know the, the pandemic and this is insane there's cars right in front of us on the side of the road and it's been like this for miles on the dam of this lake. All the entries are closed. The lake itself, if you can look out across the lake, I don't know if you're gonna see that very well. There's plenty of activity on the lake, but they're calling that social distancing in a boat. So party cove, we got a party cove out here. It's all full, but the lake is completely packed. Everywhere I go, everywhere I look, it's packed. Everybody's getting out of the house. That's a great thing. I encourage that. I think it's a great idea. But man, I'm trying to find a place to park. I'm trying to fish. This is getting crazy. I tell you what, we'll come back to you as soon as I can find a place to fish. We'll be back hopefully in just a bit. Hey guys, so we finally found a spot out at the lake. Um, you can see out there that the, there's a lot of chop and the, we're not having a lot of luck. I'm going for crappie, so I'm just real slow jigging. Um, a slot bo slip bobber and a very simple, I don't even know what those are called, lug jigs. Um, slip bobber on it and I'm just setting it out there, just letting it bounce for a little bit. Talked to another fisherman earlier. Sounds like minnows is really the way to go right now. And I figured that. I just I don't like using minnows because I don't have a lot of luck with them. But after talking to somebody earlier, it sounds like they're having a lot of luck. They have three walleye in the basket, a couple crappie. crappie. What can you do? But anyway, we hook up a day anything. I'll let you know. We'll take a look at it, but I'm not not real optimistic today. Alright guys, we are still working to get some crappie, some bluegill. Sorry for the wind, I'm sure it's going to be nuts, but we're, we're going for it here. Every couple minutes, if I don't catch anything on this, then I'll uh, switch it up and get a jig on. I've got Sierra with me. So, right here on the lake, uh, the lake is very 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 busy i can't believe how nuts this is um everybody wants to get out of the house but so it's just gonna make fishing a little more difficult um here in a bit we may change spots i'd really like to find something that's a little more placid but i have to go to the far side of the lake to do it 
there's a southeast wind, which is insane. It seems like every time I come to this spot, there's a south or a southeast wind that just messes me up so bad. But if I come here in the middle of the night where I can't video anything, everything's fine. We're good. So Sierra is just kind of hanging out. Um, as soon as we go to this, I'm going to go to another spot. And if I've got to tread through some timber to get there, I will. But uh, I'm going to get to another spot. It's a lot more calm. And then I'm going to get her hooked up and get her to get a line in the water. I'm just get, just having I'm just I'm just having a heck of a time here. Just balling it right up. Uh, we're just, just joyful, joyful. Just no room. It's, I feel like there's no room. I get some, oh, <laughs> get some video footage. That water hit the log just right, where it made me think I was going over. Oh, <laughs> get some video footage. Oh. <laughs> Sorry for the wind, guys. It's been pretty ridiculous all day long. But, eh. We're having fun. Real world. We're not going to call this urban. This is out in the country, but everybody from Urbania is out here in at the lake that normally isn't because people are cooped up. We get out of the house. They all hate life like I do. When I'm cooped up in the house, anyway. <laughs> right, hopefully, this wind isn't just killing my audio, but if it is, it is. Whatever. <laughs> okay, guys, we did not have any luck whatsoever. Um, this was way too choppy. I'm gonna head to another spot further, not uh, to the southeast. I gotta get out of this wind somehow. I want to catch crappie, I want to catch bluegill, and if I get really gutsy, I might even bring my bass pole out, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Sierra? Is this good enough? I mean, what are, you, are we going to have any luck today at all? Probably. <laughs> not, that's just a big no. Probably. Just a big no, Dad. If you're lucky, you might actually catch anything. All right, so I'm going to move, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, uh, we have decided to stop along the way to our next spot uh, to fish. This is a, a section of this lake that is accessible to hunt, and I really wanted to go look for Merle Mushroom, so we stopped. It's about, I don't know, three pretty far fetched to see if we're going to find any, but we're going to look anyway. And what we just walked up on is an old foundation to maybe an old barn that used to be on this public ground. We're gonna look around there too for mushrooms, but I'm gonna go check this out. Let's see what we find in just a second. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to kind of get an idea from you guys, the viewers. I'm out here looking for morel mushrooms and I am having zero luck. Now, what I'm trying to reach out to you guys for is what kind of trees do I need to look for? I know you have to look for a certain kind of tree. What kind of vegetation? What side of a hill do you have to look for? I'm in a relatively flat area with a lot of cover. I'm not having any luck whatsoever. So tell me. Help me out here. I'd love to have some morels. I had them when I was a kid. I haven't been able to go look for them since. I know there's a lot of viewers out there that look for this stuff on a regular basis every single year. Help me out. I'll show you what I'm working with, but it's not very good. So, you know, knowing my luck, I'll say that and then all of a sudden I find one. Just like I just said, just said it. Knowing my luck, I'll say that and I'll find one. Look right down there. That's a morel. And you're supposed to pinch it. And there it is. That's a morel mushroom. Guys, I'm not lying when I say this. I have never, ever, ever found a morel mushroom since I was eight years old. That's the first one. I'm 43. 
I'd say that's a good day. Moreau mushroom, let's go for more. All right, Sierra, we, we just, look at you. You just, you're a mess. Oh my gosh. We just got our butt kicked. Yeah. What happened? Um, so, Dad led us out towards the field that we were just at, and we were in a different area where there was a ton of water. So and we walked through it. Yeah, so this did not go well. Mm -mm. This didn't go well. Um, so, my feet are soaked. Just, I mean, I, I could probably push water. I, I'm gonna have to wring them out. I'm gonna have to dry them out. These were actually, <laughs> I might have to buy some new shoes. These are actually my good shoes. This, uh, we've been out here looking for mushrooms. It's been dry. We, and I was hoping that maybe we find a little bit damper area. Um, I guess on the south face that I would get lucky and, and find some mushrooms that didn't happen at all. We need a good solid day, day and a half of rain to really moist, moisten everything up, get these morels popping. Um, we're in central Iowa right now and it's just not going the way we thought. So uh, guys, comment, comment down below. Should I be looking for a specific tree? You let me know. I, I don't have a clue. So am I looking for a specific tree? Am I looking for a certain face of the, 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 the hills? I thought the south face of the hill was good. I thought a little bit moisture in the ground would be okay. Maybe not. You guys comment down below. I appreciate you guys coming along with this weird journey that has been fishing, turning into morel mushroom hunting. Uh, give me a, go ahead and, and just Give me some comments on what you guys think about the morel mushroom onions. If you guys like this, let me know. If you want more of this, let me know that as well. I plan on doing a lot more fishing. It's just everybody and their dogs out right now. Guys, I appreciate you coming along with us today. If you could, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the bell. And I will see you guys next time.